We've been working with um, community members and city um, staff and, um, and counselors around poverty reduction strategy since last year. And we, are, we were excited that the council made a commitment. Um, you know, the motion was approved anonymously and, you know, there were investments last year, but is it adequate? Just to refresh your memories, there are five areas where council is focusing on. One is housing, affordable housing services, transit, food access, um, jobs, and system change. That's it. That's it. So all those, through all those five areas, you know, city council has made a commitment to bring system change. So we are excited about that. Uh, so again, we are still, you know, trying to read all those different numbers, which are very complex and, uh, but. Uh, I'm sure that you know Beth Wilson and Michael Rosenberg who are here and also John Stapleton, they can correct me because you know I'm still trying to get my head around some of the numbers. So city made some investment, but it's not enough as Josie has um, uh, indicated. Um, there's, there's, you know, in order to continue uh, some of the poverty reduction uh, initiatives, they made commitment and there are some budget um, money allocation and to continue programs and services, you know, that's, there, there has been uh, investment, but there are two areas that, that we are concerned that, you know, last year, Josie mentioned that they had to dip into the reserve and, you know, and, and that is still looking big void, you know, for, for the city, so the, which is 34.2 million, and the money that the city lost from the provincial government, almost, you know, 38 million, you know, that is still a big, leaving a big void for the city. However, we've been working with, uh, with different committee um, partners, committee, I mean residents and um, different groups. They actually came together and did, a, uh, did, a, um, did their um, costing and identified that the whole price tag for 2016 budget is 75 million, and that is the breakdown. And actually, a letter was sent to Mayor um, John Tory before the budget was released on um, December 15, um, to you know, um, urging the mayor and the council to continue the investment, and the total price tag is still 75 million. And there, are, as I said, some money um, has been committed. Some items are referred but not funded. So still, you know, not clear whether there will be adequate investment. Um, so. So 2016 budget has some anti-poverty anti spending, and you know from this breakdown you see 20.2 uh, million. But our as we have done our costing, which is still 75 million. Just so we can see the screen. Okay. So long story short, there is not enough money, and we we know that for last few years, I mean at least from 2015, city has has embarked on. A multi-year uh, pro, you know programming and that some of those were also uh, part of poverty reduction plan so they're give and take there's some investment not adequate that's where poverty reduction um, plan um, I mean landed and again so we are continuing to work with you know different different um, partners and we will keep you posted you know what is the final final outcome but one thing I wanted to point out, this is a very interesting time because Mayor Tory has actually um, had spoken out um, and so, so did the new city manager, uh, Peter Wallace. They were saying that this is the time when we need to talk about new revenue tools. How do we fund, for, um, fund our programs? And so this whole revenue tool idea or taxes, this is not a dirty word anymore. And, and, and the people are using this fancy hashtag, paying for staff, which is, you know, it's trending quite a lot. So if you are on Twitter, please use that. But we just wanted to say this is, this is a very good time to talk about what are the ways we need to fund our programs and services and make sure that people who are at the bottom um, end of the spectrum, you know, we move, their, move them up. So we make Toronto, continue to make build Toronto up livable, equitable, and, you know, um, wonderful city that, that we, some of us continue to uh, enjoy. 
Uh, but, you know, so that's where I'm going to stop. But Beth Wilson will talk about revenue tools because um, some research has been done and, and she will share some of the ideas that is doable right now. But at the same time, there are responsibilities that lie with other levels of government. That might not help us to get some money immediately, but that conversation has to happen. And, and what was the, pro there was, pro prom I mean, a lot of, you know, uh, big municipal governments, they came together prior to the federal election and had spoken about how do we support big cities and, you know, continue to build infrastructure and invest in people. And we are actually, John Stapleton is here, he is actually working on, it, on, on, on the whole cost of poverty uh, paper. So what that is, we are trying to understand, if we don't invest now, what will happen in the future? So we will keep you posted, but we hope that you, know, you join us, you tell the council, you know, what kind of programs and services and what kind, what kind of investment you want um, in 2016 budget. So on that note, I'm going to hand over to Craig, and he will talk about um, housing. <laughs>